Carvings of humans and animals on the walls are evidence of a highly civilized society. Prehistoric rock art in the form of paintings or carvings is found in the Nilgiris. The lifestyle and occupation of ancient tribes are reflected in the rock art paintings of this region. Kurumba is one of the traditional ethnic groups in South India, principally along the Western Ghats. In the Nilgiris, rock art is found at five sites. The Veleri Kobai rock art site differs from the rest of the sites both in coloration and style, apart from the depictions. The ochre painting spread over the rock canvas dates back to the prehistoric era and unfolds vital clues about how the Kurumbas lived. From the viewpoint of the social anthropologist, the Kurumba groups appear to be widely different and fall into two major categories, various small tribal societies scattered along the Western Ghats, and a much more numerous congeries of castes inhabiting parts of the Deccan Plateau, chiefly in Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. In the Encyclopedia of Castes and Tribes of Southern India, Adgar Thurston mentioned that the Kurumbas are the modern representatives of the Pallavas, who were once so powerful throughout southern India, but very little trace of their greatness now remains. In the 7th century, the power of the Pallava kings seems to have been at its zenith, but shortly after this, the Chola and Chalukya chiefs succeeded in winning several victories over them. The final overthrow of Kurumba sovereignty was effected by the Chola king of Todaimandalam in the 7th or 8th century, and the Kurumbas were scattered far and wide. Many fled to the hills, and in the Nilgiris and the Vainad, in Kurg and Mysore, representatives of this ancient race are now found as primitive tribes. Elsewhere, the Kurumbas are more advanced and are usually shepherds and weavers of coarse woolen blankets. The Mackenzie manuscript says Tondamandalam was first inhabited by Kurumbas until their defeat by Elan Tiriya. Kurumbas divided the region into 24 districts and built several forts. The epigraphs of the region also reveal the existence of a sound administrative system. The Paleolithic culture, as revealed from the excavations carried out in this region at Pallavaram, led to the discovery of many more Paleolithic and Megalithic sites dating back to the Iron Age. The Kurumbas are considered to be among India's earliest inhabitants. An autosomal STR study provided evidence of a connection between the ancient Kurumba tribe and Australian Aboriginal populations. YSTR haplotypes shared with sub-Saharan African populations found in Kurumba, Soliga, and Irula may indicate a unique genetic connection between these Indian tribes and sub-Saharan Africans. The etymology of the word Kurumbar suggests that it derives from the Tamil term Kurumbu meaning a mountain or forest. Several terms like Kurumbar, Kuruman, Kuruba, Kuruma, and Kurubaru are used to designate the Kurumba caste in different regions of southern India. Kurumba tribes who live in Nilgiris and the Vainad, with a slight sprinkling in the Nilambur and Atapadi hills in Malabar, have their own divisions. Traditional sources claim that the Kurubas of the Karnataka region founded the Sangama dynasty, the first of four dynasties to rule the Vijendara Empire. Veera Harihara, founder of Vijendara, belonged to the Kuruba Govda clan. Many dynasties in South India, from the Pallavas to the Yadavarayas, were originally members of pastoralist and cowherd groups and belonged to Kurumba lineages.